So hello to everyone who's coming back to this channel today. Today is going to be the CB750 again. I was intending on doing the GS550 video. I have been working on the GS550. It is down here. You can see that I've mounted a little bracket. Well, I've kind of placed the little bracket at the moment. That's all ready to go. And then the rear light is somewhere. But I thought I need more time with the wiring. I don't want to give you a half done video where I've just done the bracket and nothing else. I want everything to be final on that bike. So that will be the last job on the GS. And as well, people are asking about the CX as well, whether it's finished. Yes, it is finished. I just haven't done a the CX is finished video yet. I think people want closure. I think they want the entire set to have a start and a finish. So I will make that finished video of the CX500 is finished video next week. Probably on your screens the week afterwards. As you can see down here, I have actually sorted the pedal out since then, so that video is to come. But it's not going to be the end of the CX though, there's going to be more videos, there's going to be more sort of bits that I'm, fiddling, that I'm going to be fiddling around with. I think it's in my nature to carry on perfecting things and it continue to, to make the bike evolve. I was the same with cars when I was growing up and bikes. But today's video is going to be the CB750. We're going to be spraying the piston cylinder casing as well polishing the fins on that. There are two ways to polish fins. One way is you can pre-polish them and then wrap tape around the fins and then spray like that. The only issue I have with the CB750 is perfect. If you want to be doing a Triumph engine or anything like that with the fins are pretty thick. You know you've got three even four mil fins in some cases and you have that surface area to actually wrap around the fins you can do that but with CB engine the fins are literally about a mil they're really tiny so for me to wrap tape around those to mask them off before I paint it is going to be pretty much impossible so what I'm going to do so the process I'm going to do it is I'm going to clean it obviously prime it spray it and then I'm going to file the paint off the fins with some sandpaper at the end I'm going to use a tiny Dremel just to get into places where I can't do it but we're going to do that. So that is today's video. See how it goes.
And so that's the fins on the lower part polished. We do have the top part to do as well, and that's an even bigger job. Which is why I'm sort of playing around with this at the moment, just to see how it turns out. It's turned out well, it's turned out well. The effect that I was after probably isn't the best effect because the fins are quite sort of really thin. I mean really thin. They're not kind of like the normal thick fins that you get on engines with polished fins. So the effect is like minimal. It'll probably look from a distance that the fins are just shining. So it might look like we're just using gloss paint and that's just like a, a, a light reflection coming off them. But when you look at them closely, that's when you actually see that they are polished fins. I probably will polish them even further. So I've used 400 grit sandpaper at the end. I've gone from 60 to 240 to 400 at the end, but I might actually polish it just a little bit more, use some polishing compound or something, just so that they gleam that little bit more. But like I said, the top part is to do, and that's where you'll actually see the fins. Now, you may have noticed as well that there are two, I think, corners that are broken off. I'm not too worried about those. When that cylinder head goes on top, you're not really gonna see those, so I'm not gonna worry too much about those. But it's looking good. It's ready now for the pistons to be put in. It's honed, it's painted, it's been baked. Piston rings can go on in the next episode, and the pistons can be put into them, and then we can drop it on the actual casing itself. But that will need to be painted first, so that is gonna be done as well. The engine rebuild will start next week. I'm talking the internals are gonna be rebuilt next week. That's to come. So, if you like what you see, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, visit fortheboldindustries.com, see if there's a piece of merchandise that you like. And until next week, see you then on Safe Riding. Thank you.